Welcome to the series where we do exercises on Langchain, OpenAI, and Python. This is an important one. In this video, we talk about Langchain chains. By using simple examples, we do it in three steps. Step number one, we talk about LLM chain. Step number two, simple sequential chain. And step number three, sequential chain. Now let's get started. All right, so this is where we get our coding done. First, uh, we install our necessary libraries. Second, we set up our OpenAI key. And then we follow these three steps, LLM chain, simple sequential chain, and sequential chain. So let's get started here. These are the three libraries we're going to need. And I'm gonna start the installation. And while this is going on, let's focus on here. I've already done mine. So all you pretty much have to do is replace this string with your, with your OpenAI API key. We'll hit this button and this OpenAI API key environment variable will be set, which you will be able to use throughout this project. That said, let's start with LLM chain. All right, let's get started with LLM chain. And here I am bringing in the necessary libraries like chat open AI from Langchain, OpenAI chat models, and chat prompt template, human message prompt template, and system message prompt template from langchain.prompts.chat. Using this chat open AI, I just created my own model. I'm using GPT 3.5 Turbo here and temperature 0.5. Now let's get to the step number one. Let's create the prompts. All right, so I have a system prompt here where I am giving it a direction, make up five funny names for a shop based on what product they sell. And then I'm bringing in a human prompt where uh, the human would be saying, my shop sells product. And it's gonna have a variable called product. So let's see what our human prompt look like. All right, look at that. It is actually, picking up on that variable and separating it as an input variable and the rest is the simple template. That being done, let's move to the next level, which is building the prompt template, combining these two. All right, so that would be our chat prompt template and we're using this class and sending the arguments system prompt and human prompt that we just built here to combine the two to create this chat prompt template to get it ready for our LLM chain. So let's see what this looks like. All right, basically it separated the input variable and then inside messages, it actually combined both system prompt and our human message prompt right here. Now we are ready to create our LLM chain. All right, so I'm bringing in the LLM chain class from langchain.chains and instantiating this class with these arguments. As an LLM, I'm sending the model that we created right here. And as a prompt, we're sending our chat prompt template to create this chain object. And now we're gonna go ahead and invoke it. All right, so I brought in a little bit of thing here, which is uh, chain.run and then product and setting up the variable. Uh, I brought this in to show you that, you know, if you can, if you go to other trainings or tutorials that are a little bit older, you will see people using this, but that this dot run method has been deprecated, right? So now we use chain dot invoke. I'm creating a separate variable here, our inputs. And uh, since we have only one input, which is the product. So I'm just creating a dictionary here, product equals computers. And now I'm sending this as an argument here and invoking the chain. And at this point, we will just see the result. Let's see what comes up. All right. So it's not very pretty, but we know that this item here product is our input variable and the rest, which is the result coming in this text item. So see it in a pretty format. Let's implement this one just so that we can see the text variable, right? So let's invoke. Voila, we have 
five funny names for our computer shop. Bite me tech, control all defeat, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So let me try one more. We're gonna sell copious amount of ganja. We can have our as our shop name. Oh, look at that. High time herbal emporium, puff puff pass, the dank depot, etc. etc. That shows us the implementation of LLM chain in a nice little example. Now let's move to simple sequential chain. All right. So let's get started with our simple sequential chain. As you can see here, I brought in all the necessary libraries and classes. Only thing extra that came here is the simple sequential chain, which is also coming from langchain.chains. And this time, for simplicity's sake, I got rid of the, uh, the human prompt and the system prompt. So right here, I created my model as usual. And now we're going to follow these few steps here. We're going to have a chain number one, two, and three. In chain number one, we'll take our one and only input, which is a topic. And based on that topic, we're going to ask AI to build a, an outline for a post. And in the next chain, this outline we're going to use as an input and tell it to create the blog post. And output will be the blog post text. And in chain number three, we'll send this blog post text and tell it to create a summary text. And that will be our final output. And then combine all of these and create a full blown final chain and then invoke that chain to see the result. So let's get started. Okay, so this is our first chain. Here we're creating a simple template saying, give me a simple bullet point outline for a blog post on this topic. This is the variable that we're gonna be sending it. And then based on this template, we create our first prompt using chat prompt template and giving it this template as an argument. And now we create our first LLM chain using this model here and our first prompt as a prompt argument. Once this is done, now let's move to our chain number two. All right, so here, the template number two, we are saying, write a blog post using this outline. And this outline we're gonna get from chain number one and how we're gonna get it. And this is where simple sequential chain comes in that will take care of all that for us. We'll get to it very soon. So let's finish our chain number three. Okay, so chain number three, we're saying, write a summary of this post. And this post is the output of chain number two because this is where we are outputting the blog post text. And just like all the other ones, we create our uh, third prompt by passing this uh, template three here and create our chain number three using LLM chain, sending this model and third prompt. Now we are ready to create our first simple sequential chain or our main chain for this one. All right, so here it is. Simple sequential chain class invoked. And this one is taking an argument called chains, basically a list of arguments. And this is where we're sending chain one, chain two, and chain three. Make sure their order is correct. And that's how our simple sequential chain will know which one is what and whose output is whose input. And this is gonna figure everything out for us. And we're setting verbose to true so that we can see all the details or the steps that it goes through once we invoke this chain. So now let's invoke this chain. All right, so full chain dot invoke, and we are passing the topic, which is the only input here, topic as Donald Trump, and invoking the chain, see what it does. All right, entering the simple sequential chain and already created an outline for us. All right, and created a post and finally, the summary of the post. So in the final result, the main output we get is the summary. Now, this is the thing about simple sequential chain. It is simple and fast, but only reason we are seeing the other steps like the outline and the post is because we turned verbose to true. Otherwise, we will only get one output, one single output, the final result. 
and there's no way to access this middle ones in the sequence. And this is where our sequential chain comes in. So let's get started on that. All right. So this is going to be our sequential chain example. As you can see, I brought in all the necessary libraries and classes. Only extra thing came here is the sequential chain class from line chain dot chain. And as usual, we have our model here using chat open AI. In this example, we're going to take an employee's performance review as an input text, which we laid out right here with uh, the strengths and weaknesses, et cetera, et cetera. And I just set it up in a variable. And that's the only input we are getting to our first chain. We're going to have chain one, two, and three. So the chain number one will take that review text and give us a summary of that text. Chain number two will take the summary in from chain number one and give us the weaknesses of the employee, list them. And then chain number three will take the weaknesses of that employee and give us an improvement plan, basically suggestions and things that, that uh, the employee can use to improve himself. And with that, let's get started with chain number one. Okay, so we start with a simple template number one. Give me a summary of this employee's performance review and the review as an input variable. Then we take this template number one and create a prompt using chat prompt template as usual and pass that template one as an argument and then create chain number one using LLM chain and we pass our model prompt as a prompt number one. And this is the extra thing that we also insert as an argument. And that would be the output key. And here we're setting it up as a review summary. As you have seen before, the simple sequential chain didn't have that. Thus, it could not remember or give us any of the other results in the sequence. And this is the specialty of sequential chain. Using these output keys, later on, once it's finished, we will be able to bring all the results step by step. And that being done, let's go to our chain number two and three. Okay, so chain number two, we create template number two and tell it identify the key employee weaknesses in this review summary. And then we pass the review summary as an input, which was the output of chain number one. Then from two, we create and sending this template two as an argument. And then chain number two, as usual, LLM and prompt, but we also have output key weaknesses. That's how we keep track of the sequential output that this chain will generate. Then we move to chain number three. We tell it create a personalized plan to help address and fix these weaknesses. And then we pass these weaknesses as an input, which used to be the output for chain number two. All that being done, Let's create our first sequential chain. Okay, so we invoke the sequential chain class by passing argument chains, and we give it a list of chains as a value. And here we have chain number one, two, and three. Once again, please make sure that your sequence is correct, the order is correct, and that's how sequential chain will know whose output is whose input, etc. And then we have another argument, uh, input variables, and we're sending that as a review because this is the first and only input we're going to get from this text right here. And then output variables, now we have three of them, review summary, weakness, and final plan. And in the end, we're setting verbose to true, even though it is not necessary, as you will see when we move forward. So now we have our sequential chain object right here. Now, uh, let, let me just uh, invoke this so that everything is in, okay? No errors, great. Now, this is where we put the whole review, employee review in one variable, employee review. Let's run this, now it's in. In here, we take that sequential chain and invoke it and pass this employee review as a variable, our first and only input. And 
by clicking this, I'm going to invoke the sequential chain. And as you can see, uh, it actually is showing the verbose one. But now that you see the result, it is not like the simple sequential chain where we actually saw all those results. Look, it's everything in one. It didn't really bother to show us all the steps and the, with the details. And this is the reason why. Because now we can actually go in and look at them separately. So let's see if we take this result and see what the type is. Oh, look at that. It's a dictionary, which means it will have keys. See all the keys, input key, review summary, weaknesses, final plan. So now that it has the keys, that means we can actually see them anytime we like. Let's run this. And there you go. All the outputs are visible right here. The review summary, the weaknesses is a list, and the final plan for improvement. All of them are here. See, this is something that was missing in our simple sequential chain. So now that it's a data dictionary and we have all these available, now we should be able to use it in further chains or functions or whatever in a large application. This is extremely handy. And that said, we conclude our exercise number eight using Langchain, OpenAI, and Python, where we just talked about LLM chain, simple sequential chain, and sequential chain. Thanks for watching.